Good morning, my name is Leilani and today we're gonna do a more like serious video in regards to back to school because last week I released a video, it was our back to week sort of video and it was just kind of like, you know, hey, everybody's going back to school, we're trying to slowly acclimate ourselves to this new kind of season. But today, this week is the first week of co-ops. And so today, we actually started something a little bit new with the kids where we put them on a schedule. And the goal behind all of this is to create a schedule so that we can have flow. I actually made a video, I'm gonna put a video I card up here, a kind of a little bit about what we're doing. It gives us a flow which allows us to have a routine and as a result, we have expectations, we know what's coming, and then we get things done faster. That's kind of the idea behind all of this. So what I have done, because Tuesdays, by the way, is our co-op day, and we have Monday through Friday, in a sense, exception Tuesday, where we are doing schoolwork, in a sense. Friday is kind of gonna be field trip Friday, where I am willing to drop Fridays and go on a field trip and I'm actually planning a couple of those and inviting some friends over. So we have that in mind, it may or may not happen, otherwise it's going to match the Wednesday, Thursday schedule. Now Monday is gonna be a little bit unique because, okay, so I teach science at the homeschool co-op. I've done it for 10 plus years. My kids are usually in my class, but this year it conflicted with a class that the boys wanted to take, which is a chess tournament class. And so we made a deal that if we do science at home with mommy, they can take the chess class. So on Mondays, we have a big chunk for science specific stuff, which is nice because I'm actually gonna be doing the science that I'm teaching at the co-op. I'm doing that class with my kids the day before I actually teach it at the co-op for their age group. It's a win-win because I actually get to spend more time with my kids doing more of the science-y type stuff at home and then I'm prepared when I go to the co-op, it's awesome. So anyway, so Monday we have a big chunk out. We have the nine devotion and prayer, 9.30, I can kind of just show you what it looks like. Spelling, fix it grammar, anything in red requires the iPad. And so I've had to pretty much, this is Hannah's, this is Ethan's, and this is Isaac. Naomi is on a totally different schedule because she has therapies today all morning. And then my husband brings her home and then during his Bible study, I do schoolwork with her. Sometimes she comes in, it just, we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna figure this out with the schedule. But each of them have their own schedule. If it's in red, like piano, they need the iPad, math, for Isaac, because of teaching textbooks, he needs the iPad, and Hannah as well. We're gonna do the schedule today. We're gonna see how it goes. Um, Wednesday is a little bit different. There's no science, but there's stuff that they have to do with their homeschool co-op, and then IEW. We're only gonna do IEW, they're doing structure and style. We're only gonna do that three days a week this year, as opposed to five. It is possible. It is, we did it last year, we played around with it, it's completely possible. Uh, maybe do IEW during breaks and stuff. On top of all of that, what I also did, because in the state of Florida, one of the things that we need to put together is a homeschool portfolio. And one of the things that they like to see in a homeschool portfolio is a book list. So I actually started my book list, this is Hannah's book list. Starting on August 1st, we are still reading Anna Green Gables, which I know if you watch my previous video, you know that's where watch, what we're reading right now. And then she put in a couple other ones that she's reading on her own. So this is her book list. And Ethan has one. He only have Anna Green Gables right now, but he is taking a class at the homeschool co-op, which is going to require him to read like a bunch of very thick novels. So we did not get him doing any other stuff. And then for Isaac, same kind of thing. With his book list, it's blue. These are their favorite colors. Is your favorite color pink, Hannah? Uh, blue and then pink. Okay, so but I Isaac, still like it because of the sparkles. We got sparkles on it. It's gold spark. I love pink and gold. I think that's my favorite. Pink, pink and gold. Pink and gold. But I like turquoise too. Those three together. Okay, enough about favorite colors. So we have all these on this side. On the back side for each of them because they do piano. I have the song that they're working on and the lesson that they're working on, which is from, they actually use Simply Piano. So I used to teach piano lessons, I used to teach music. The only thing I don't like about not doing piano lessons is that they don't have piano recitals, which I think are so awesome. 
but we're doing piano at home. Look, I do piano with my kids because I know what music does to the brain. This, their piano lessons, the what they're working on, the course, because Simply Piano has courses, so they're doing that, and then that's the actual song that he's working on right now that he started, I don't know if you can see it, but he is doing um, Little Serenade, and then the other one's doing a Mozart piece, which is kind of cool. Hannah really likes to work through the actual lessons and build off of the songs, and so hers is, hers is uh, the James Bond theme. And so at the end of the year, they're gonna list all their piano pieces and piano coursework that they have been working on, and so me and Daddy, me and my husband, can be like, hey, can you play this song for us? And they can. We're hoping. I'm gonna stick this on a three ring binder and I'm gonna find a nail somewhere. I'm gonna stick it on a nail since this is gonna be used periodically. So let's see how today goes. We're gonna go through a couple things and then I'm gonna give you some feedback at the end of the day. I don't expect it to be perfect. Totally expect it to be stressful for everyone because, you know, I haven't timed everything out before. I'm probably gonna have to do some subtractions and stuff. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. more than we have water. Alright, get two eggs. With or without salt. So as the day is progressing, I'm finding that I'm gonna have to make a little bit of an adjustment to the schedule. One, science takes an hour and a half, maybe two hours. There's no way we can fit it into an hour, and they're gonna have to do science again sometime this week. Super quick side note, so all those morning basket videos that you guys see, I, I see, <laughs> but no, seriously, all those morning baskets, this in our past has always been kind of our morning basket, and there's a lot of random stuff in here, and there's even like money in here, which, hey, you know what? I should get paid to do this job. I do have a lot of things in here, but in reality, our morning basket is the devotional. Like, that's just, Mad Libs, you want to? I'll go do it with my brothers. I need a pencil. Guys, what do you have They're doing their, they're doing their boats right now. They're making boats. You can do one too. More money. Dude, seriously, I'm going to get rich. I also feel like I need to turn the morning basket into the, like, toilet box, you know, like the box of magazines, because I've got like Answers in Genesis in here, I've got Bible studies, I've got IEW stuff. This would be like great for sitting on the toilet and reading, like toilet reading time. It's a new homeschool trend. Instead of morning baskets, we should have toilet baskets. I need an adjective. Isaac. Guys, okay. adjective, 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 adjective. Adjective! Alexa, give me a random adjective. I'm having trouble hearing. Alexa, give me a random adjective. Why, feathered, polite, and outrageous are all examples of adjectives. Need an adjective, please. Funny. Funny? Okay. Funny. No, okay, Um, I kind of don't want to read this in front of the camera. Because he made me put down butt and poop. Okay, um, I'm starving, Mom. My butt is growling. <laughs> I think you've had enough ice and food today. Oh, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh. Alright, kids are in bed. I'm ready for bed. And I get to talk to you guys first. So, as a whole, today was just, it was not, it was not easy. It was difficult putting a new routine into place, and that's pretty normal. It was like this when I was a teacher as well. First day is always bumpy. You have to make adjustments. But when, once things kind of get moving and the kids get used to the schedule that you create for them, it gets better. You know, one thing that's nice about homeschooling is that it's not like public school where there's a schedule, set schedule, and you can't really adjust it. The one thing that's nice about homeschooling is that you have a schedule and you can adjust it to meet their needs. And some of the needs that we're going to have to meet is science is not going to take an hour. It's, it's going to take two hours to, to allow some room for exploration questions. Oh, I'm telling you what, they had so many questions today. A lot of things came up that they were like, wait a second. And at the same time, my son wanted to start earlier. He wants to start at 830. Um, actually, he wants to start at 730, my oldest, because he wants to get done faster. 
and make Monday a little bit lighter so we can really leave some room there for the science and of course reading that's a big one for us and Bible which is huge if you actually looked at our schedule we have a lot of a lot of Bible time Bible does dad Bible dad, daddy does Bible study they do devotionals and um, their curriculum has a lot of stuff in there that just you know it's it's biblically based curriculum so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're not as tired as me <laughs> For real. I'm actually like, you never really see me tired. It, this is me tired. I'm tired. And it's like, I'm exhausted from today. Oh, if you missed the video from Thursday, super funny. It's right there. Check it out. Till then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.